Hello everyone, up here and welcome to another Shop Titans video. I've been asked quite a lot of questions about heroes already, so I thought I'd make a video on it. This whole topic is a bit complex. Hero types, classes, elements, elemental barriers, team composition, skills, enchantments, and so on. So with that being said, the tips in this video are meant to be seen as rules of thumb, Kind of tips which are usually pretty good but not necessarily the absolute best because of the complexity of the topic all right with that out of the way let's get started first spread out types you want to make sure your team is strong so that it can beat content strength of a singular hero is secondary a good bet for a strong team is a mix of one of each type so fighter rogue and spellcaster and for the fourth slot, you usually use a champion. Tip number two, elements. You should pick heroes so that you have at the very least one hero of each element. All dungeons on extreme difficulty and the final dungeon, Cinder Lake Volcano on any difficulty, show an element. This element refers to an elemental barrier that protects enemies in that dungeon. This barrier must be destroyed before the enemy actually starts losing health points. So elemental barriers take I think 90% reduced damage from the wrong elements, but full damage from the correct element. So here for example it shows this nature icon here. And this means you will need a hero with nature element to destroy it. Or a champion because champions have elements too. So for example I don't have one in here right now that can destroy this element and for the fourth one I should pick this one for example because this one has nature and now everyone's smileys are green because I'm able to beat it because this one will destroy the barrier. There's one outlier regarding elements and it is the Spellblade. Spellblade is the T5 spellcaster class and it can use any element on the equipment and can also damage all elemental barriers. They don't deal 100% to elemental barriers though, because that would be OP. They damage elemental barriers at 30%, which can be enough, but ideally you want to pair that with a hero with the correct element. So since spell blades are special in that sense, I would suggest to have at least one to three spell blades in your roster since they are so flexible and can help out with any elemental barrier. Tip number three, specific classes. Um, I would suggest an everyone to get three thieves overall. You don't need to go and you shouldn't go three thieves from the very beginning. But for end game, you want three thieves and then give them a titan soul each because then they get the ability to steal additional items with Polonia. This is known as the Polonia team. You send Polonia together with three Titan Sold Thieves and then they bring back a ton of items that you can sell in your shop. Other than that, again, first I said build teams and that is true. However, some quests, depending on difficulty, you can also finish by just sending a single hero if they are strong enough. Good solo heroes, in my opinion, are Wanderer, Dancer, Ranger, and Berserker. All heroes can solo some dungeons when they have good skills and good equipment, but I just found it to be easier with the classes I just mentioned. Tip number 4, Gear. For best tier 12 gear for every class, you should check out st-central.net slash tldr-heroes. Other than that, if you are not tier 12 yet, and just as a general rule for you, you should make sure to pick items with a secondary stat, like HP or defense. So for example, like this one, it's not only attack on this weapon, but it also has plus 220 defense. And items with a secondary stat are usually stronger than items with just one stat. If you are going for higher quality gear, make sure to always prioritize the weapon. Higher quality on a weapon increases the damage of a hero by a lot and has by far the biggest impact on a hero's performance. A free-to-play strategy here 
would be to pick all other 5 gear pieces in normal quality and just the weapon in higher quality. Then when the normal gear breaks you replace it for cheap but when your weapon breaks you use your repair kits. Tip number 5. Enchantments. Pick the correct element for each hero and pick the highest tier enchantment you can to put on all your gear. This is crucial. At certain element value milestones your hero's skills reach their next level and give huge power boosts. So I reach 170 element here and I need 170 to get my gold skills to tier 4 to their strongest version. So here for example you see I have 130 darkness but he would need 150 to upgrade this skill to the next level. If you just click on any of your skills you can see your current value total which is also here and the number to the right here is the value you need for the next level. Next to elements you can also enchant gear with spirits. Spirit enchantments are not nearly as important, though obviously they also help and you should also make use of those. Without going into too much detail here, as a rule of thumb, you want mainly damage enchantments for all three types, so fighter, rogue, spellcaster, while rogues additionally like crit and evade, and spellcasters could also use some extra health. Tip number 6. Skills. Skills are obviously very important and can make or break a hero. This topic is so vast because of all the different skills and I suggest you check out st-central.net slash tldr minus heroes to check which skills are good for which hero. You get your first skill really quickly, maybe level 5, I'm not sure anymore because it's been so long since I leveled up a hero, but anyways. When you get your first skill, I suggest you check the table I just talked about and see if that skill is at the very least a yellow smiley. If it is not, you should retire that hero and buy the same class again. Then when that one gets its first skill, you go check the table again and so on until you have something good to start out with. Rerolling skills costs skill dice or gems and the first skill is so quick and easy to get so I'd suggest you don't waste gems or skill dice and just retire and buy a new hero. Tip number 7. Titan Soul. Best use would be on a thief, in my opinion, for a Polonia team. Other than that, lower tier heroes benefit more than higher tier heroes overall. In particular, next to the big increase in base stats, all tier 1 to tier 4 heroes so tier 1 to tier 4, I mean this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. All those heroes, next to the big increase in base stats, they get their fourth skill slot unlocked, which is a massive upgrade. Alright, those were my tips. I hope this was helpful. If it was, Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate it. If you have any further questions, please feel free to leave a comment and I usually reply pretty quickly. If you want to delve into the whole topic further yourself, I suggest you check out the whole Hero Academia section on sg-central.net. There are quite a lot of articles there about different hero related topics. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.